Hello everyone, my name is Radhi Shurkawa Foster and I'm one of the ESL coordinators and today I will show you how to access and submit your timesheet in the employee portal. So once you're in the portal, which you already know how to get to, here in the middle you have um, the self-service tab and from there you go to time entry and approval and one more time time entry and you will see your time card here for this pay period. It's bi-weekly, remember you get paid every two weeks and you submit them um, every two weeks. So you check that little box here and that will take you to your actual time card. So as you can see, you have um, two options for each day and this is because you may be teaching more than one class. For example, you may have a morning class and an evening class and you can always insert more lines if you need to. So let's say you teach a Monday, Wednesday morning class. In this case, you would, um, on Monday, July 12th, you would put 9 a.m. Don't forget to do the a.m. and p.m. in this exact formula. To 12 p.m. It's very important to remember the a.m. and p.m. That will give you the three hours of teaching and the time in and time out is only for instructional time. So for anything that uh, has to do with teaching your class. Mm -hmm. So let's see, on Wednesday, we do the same. So 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. Okay. So let's say on Friday, you do an hour of prep time. Again, this is considered instructional time from 10 a.m. to 11 a.m. Okay, that's one more hour. And this is your instructional time for the week. Of course, you will do the same for the following week. One thing that we encourage our teachers to do is to enter time after each class. This way, you know, you won't forget but if you prefer to do it at you know the end of the pay period that's okay too if, especially if you don't set the schedule so um, the other thing is if you do any trainings um, or through the college like health and safety or any professional development through your program um, that time will be entered under other time hours so for example, let's say we did a two hour Zoom training uh, on Thursday um, from four to 6 p.m. You would just enter two hours. That's how you enter for uh, training time, and just the number of hours. And then from the drop down uh, menu here, training hours. So. We're done for the week, so what we'll do now is just submit. That means save. So the time for that week is saved. Now you can continue entering hours later for the following week. And then at the very end of the pay period, you would need to uh, submit your time. And you do that by checking this little box down here, which is your electronic signature. Once you do that, and hit submit, which I'm not going to do right now. Um, that timesheet is completed and it goes to your supervisor for approval. Now, if you um, realize that you've made a mistake or and you submitted it, signed it, you know, and submitted, uh, it's okay. You can just let your supervisor know and they can reject it and you can redo it again. Um, so it's fine. But remember, you only check that box at the very, very end of the pay period. Okay, so this is how you um, this is how you enter your time in the employee portal. And if you have any questions about it, uh, please check with your uh, coordinator. Thank you very much.